Hey everybody, it's Greg from Six Sided Discs, I'm here to do my 2021 in the bag. We're going to get started with my putters and approach discs. Recently made a switch over to these Streamline Cosmic Electron Soft Pilots. I'm really liking them. They've got a shallow rim, both 175 grams, and they're feeling good on these kind of smooth approach shots. Uh, also feeling pretty solid on the putting green, trying to do a little more of a spin putt, uh, kind of a hybrid. And I've also tried my hand at throwing them and really happy with how they fly. Next up is the Castaplast K3 Berg, also in 175 gram. This K3 plastic is nice and sticky and the Berg is one of the slowest flying discs out there. So you can throw it pretty hard on hyzer. If you want to throw it, it's not going to go super far. And on approach shots, uh, you'd be hard pressed to overthrow the basket. When it hits the ground, it's going to stick. Uh, it doesn't deal with the wind too well, being a, a putter, but that's okay. Next up, Prodigy 400A1. Uh, this is just a crazy overstable approach shot. I like it for forehand and backhand. You can throw it with power and it's not going to get too far. It's going to kind of crash out. Uh, the 400 plastic can get a little bit of a skip if it catches the right edge, uh, but other times it's going to come in so sharp that it kind of just hits the ground and stops, much like we see here. Next up is my 300A2 from Prodigy, and this is kind of a complement to that uh, A1 in a grippier, stickier plastic for forehand, backhand up shots. Uh, the 300 plastic is going to hit the ground, dig in, and kind of stay where it, uh, where it lands. You can get these nice panning forehand approach shots. Again, just kind of sticks it in and slows down when it hits the ground. Moving on to my mid ranges. I uh, recently started throwing more mids and we're going to start with my overstable mid, the Discraft Paul Macbeth Malta. I I'm really liking the Malta. I didn't expect to like it. I didn't like the Proto Malta, but uh, something about it is really appealing to me right now. I really love the way that it it's flying. Uh, super smooth and consistent, so we're going to see that a lot more. I'm also bagging a max weight Discmania C-Line MD3. And the MD3's flight numbers are kind of, they kind of lie to you. I think if you throw it flat and hard, it has a tendency to fly absolutely straight, if not a little bit understable, uh, depending on the wind conditions. Uh, like on this shot, you're going to see it looks a little more overstable, but still a very flat, neutral flight. Now for an understable mid-range, I've got a Castaplast K1 Svi, uh, nearly max weight. And the Svi has an incredible amount of glide. You don't have to throw it hard. Put it on a little bit of hyzer, and you can get this nice, slow right-hand drift that we're going to see on this shot here from one of our videos. Just a little hyzer and just slowly drifts to the right. Really easy to get distance with the Svi. I'm liking the shot shape that it gives me. I've also got a Castaplast K3 Cax Z, uh, 175 gram. And again, uh, with this K3 plastic, this opens up kind of a different shot. I've got an overstable mid range that can hit the ground and pretty much stick and stay where it lands. Uh, which you're going to see on both of these shots. You know, we're throwing about 250 to 275 feet, hits the ground and checks up immediately to stay close to the pin. And similar shape here, hits the ground and immediately slows down. Very controllable. Moving on to my fairway drivers, I've got quite a few fairway drivers in my bag and we're going to start with the craziest one, the Discmania Active Sunbird. 168 grams. This is the most beat in understable thing I've ever thrown. I can throw it hard on hyzer. It will flip all the way over almost immediately as you'll see here. 
There was a crosswind on that shot, but here, calm conditions, flips immediately out of the hand, and this is my roller disc. I don't really have anything else I can roll or rely on to roll, uh, and here's a perfect example of that. I'm also bagging the new version of the Sunbird, the Discmania Active Genius, and I was expecting this to be similarly understable, but it turns out you need to beat it in a bit first because right now, this is actually flying really stable. As you can see, even with a left to right crosswind, that disc didn't want to turn over. And similarly here, it turns over a little bit, but uh, we'll beat that in and see if it can fly a little differently. Next up, Prodigy 400 F5. Um, really liking Prodigy 400 plastic. Um, the F5 is kind of a straight, understable flyer, depending on the wind. Uh, if you get just a little bit of Anheuser or flat, you can get distance out of it. Here, I'm going to turn it over a little bit more, and it just kind of holds that line and pushes to the right, opening up a different angle. For kind of a stock hyzer or straight shot, I've got Discmania Neo Instinct, 172 gram. You've got to have a fairway driver, that kind of 7502 slot. Really like how it flies. Dependable over stability with a little hookup at the end. And, uh, you know, on some holes, maybe worth a uh, ace run, as we're going to see here. Ooh, that was close. All right, next up we got Castaplast K1 Lots. The Lots is one of my favorite fairway drivers right now. If you put it on a little bit of hyzer and throw it hard, you can get a little bit of flip up or you can get it to just hold that angle and push and push and push to open this kind of slow left turn, uh, you know, long fade. Um, or if you get it flat, you can get kind of a straight shot and then maybe you get lucky and hit a tree into the fairway like that. Next is my Axiom Plasma Insanity, and I don't know that the shot I have is gonna do it justice, but this can fly so straight uh, or give you a little bit of an S-curve. Uh, it's rapidly becoming one of my favorite fairway drivers for just a straight shot or slight S-curve for a good distance. Really liking the feel of it. Uh, here's another a good example here. With the wind, this is going to stable out, but really consistent flight, consistent distance. I'm a big fan. Now to my favorite overstable fairway driver, my Prodigy 750 Spectrum, Chris Dickerson, USDGC champ, FX2s. Uh, it's the only disc that I have multiples of other than my putter because I feel like if I lost one I would be lost without it and you're gonna see why as it is just some of the best shots I throw Consistent flat to sharp fade at the end of the flight here. Both of these shots resulted in birdies uh, Just such a beautiful flying disc no forehand is complete without an Innova Nate Sexton Color Glow Tour Series Firebird. Uh, nearly max weight on this one. And uh, don't throw a backhand a whole lot, but you can get some nice skips out of it, especially with the snow on this example. Uh, but also really love it for forehands. It's kind of my go-to forehand disc. My forehand needs a little bit of work, but I've got some overstable drivers to compensate for its inconsistency. This one being the most overstable, Streamline Cosmic Neutron Flare, even in 168 gram weight, you're going to see exactly how crazy overstable this disc is. Each of these throws is on a bit of Anheuser and it immediately comes out, fades hard to the right. That one was a ton of Anheuser, we're going to get a big skip. So if I just need that shape, I'm going for the flare. Finally to my distance drivers. And we get started with my Thummer Disc, which is my Discmania Active Premium Mentor. I can't really explain to you why this works for my Thummer or why I like it for it. Maybe it's just the grip, uh, but I like the shot shape and it's less of a straight shot for me. I throw the Thummer aiming left of the basket and then I get a sharp hook to the right midway through the flight. As you'll see here, it swings right and very nearly aces. <laughs> that hole so 
Big fan of that disc. Next, my Infinite Discs G Blend Emperor, 163 gram. I don't have a super uh, strong throw, and this lightweight gives me distance, uh, and the overstability is really dependable. Uh, it's one of my favorite discs, and this gummy G Blend plastic is just so grippy, flexible, really like it. Thanks to Brad Chick for letting me use this footage from his channel. One of my best shots with that by far. Next up, Discmania Swirly, S-Line, PD2, The Skyrider, Simon Lazat, Signature Series. It's a beautiful disc. I like it for forehands and sometimes, or I should say sometimes forehands, mostly backhands. And uh, you can just rip it hard. It's going to fade back. Easy distance. And also good for a skip, as we'll see here. Finally, we have my Westside VIP Air Giant 157 gram Noodle Arm Special. This is super overstable, but super light, so I can throw it about as hard as I can. I can't really turn it over, and I can get easy distance, consistent fade back. Um, one of the furthest flying discs in my bag by far, but easily manipulated by the wind, so. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about the discs that are in my bag. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to Six Sided Discs. Check out our website at sixsideddiscs.com for all your favorite discs. Uh, we can't wait to see you in the next video.